have some bones here. These are good, big, good size. I'm gonna get a big one, hopefully. I got a good one. Ooh. There you go. Let's go for a ride. I don't know where we're gonna go. <laughs> it's good. It's pretty bad. Probably you have seen it before. So this is the type of pattern I'll be using today. You see there how it is? Very simple, dumbbell eye, EB fiber. You can use any four right here in the front and two feather in the front and four legs attached to the dumbbell eye near to the eye of the hook. And for me it works really well and very uh, important the yellow eye. Here is the fly, so let's go. The paddle board is ready. Let's go. Okay, I have a trigger fish over there, not too far, try to hook it. I try to make the perfect cast. Oh, it's spooking. It was a very bad cast. Going from this side? No, saw me. I have some bones here. These are good, big, good size. I'm gonna get a big one, hopefully. I got a good one. Ooh. There you go. Let's go for a ride. I don't know where we're gonna go. <laughs> it's good. It's pretty bad. Uh, I almost get the bigger one, but what it is, I got to lose it, it's shaking a lot. Flashing the water is super shallow here. Alright, here's bunny. Not ready. Not ready. Uh, here it is guys, look at this, it's so pretty fish. This is a bone fish on this fly I tied this no, last night, but I showed you this morning. Pretty one, it's a good size, not too small, not too big. The tip is about this fish, when you hook the fish, don't, don't over tight your drag, otherwise you're gonna hurt the fish. You're gonna rip their, their mouth off because this fish is 
very strong so they they pull super hard and if you if you tie down too hard you're gonna overkill his muscles and it's gonna be hard to recover but the main the main thing about this is just keep it in the right in the sweet spot of, of your drag otherwise the fish is gonna end up hurting Lady fish and the same fly. No problem para video. <laughs> 